Hello guys and gals, it's me, Mojo Daddy Mystic, and we're back in the Fortress of Solitude, aka my home, and we're gonna get into some heavy metal with Dio, specifically their 1983 debut album entitled Holy Diver. This is for all you metal fans out there. And uh, man, I really, really love this uh, album. Released on May 25th, 1983. So right when uh, metal was uh, getting exposed worldwide, nationwide. Bands like Van Halen, Motley Crue were at the top of the charts. And uh, yeah, this was right, right smack dab into kind of like the liftoff point to 80s metal, man. Amazing, amazing album. Really, really great vocals here by Ronnie James Dio. He had just left uh, Black Sabbath. They had had like a falling out. So he struck out on his own. And man, what a way to open your solo career. And I particularly love the artwork on this album. If I, I'll find it. I'll put it up right here. But such a such a striking image. Of this helpless man uh, being whipped, I guess. I'm not sure if this is like hell or he's uh, he's been. <laughs> he's, this guy is just doesn't have any luck, it seems right here. But this is just a fantastic album cover. Um, really, really struck me when I first uh, heard this album. But, uh, man, every song on here has got something to it. Uh, of course, you got Stand Up and Shout, Holy Diver, Gypsy's Good, Caught in the Middle, Don't Talk to Strangers. Of course, Rainbow in the Dark is their big hit off here. But we're going to take a look at what I believe the best song on this album is. Invisible. Yes, but we're going to take a look at a live version. But man, if you have not heard the studio version of this song, I highly recommend it because it will blow you away. Vivian Campbell on guitar just absolutely shredded this to bits and pieces, man. The beginning intro, it really sounds like it should be coming from Led Zeppelin or just like a that beginning intro is just so bombastic and iconic. Really, really stuck stuck with me. So but we're gonna we're gonna take a look at a live version here. I'm not sure what year this is. Had to be in the early 2000s, I believe. But I want you guys to sit back, relax, and let's rock out to some Dio with Invisible live, and give me your thoughts and opinions on it. Who are some of your favorite? metal artists that I should check out let me know in the comments below let's va I remember him from the pick of destiny Ronnie James Dio may he rest in peace Great, great cameo in that. Here we go.
majestic. Amazing, bro. Amazing. Amazing, man. I love, love that song. I think it's the best song in the album. Uh, again, that intro is just so majestic. Sounds like it should be... Uh, it's perfect fit for stadium rock. But uh, 
yeah, it's just a great jam. I love it. And the message of the song, it's about, you know, uh, breaking away from your home, you know, getting out of here. Uh, it's kind of like uh, a, a young, uh, a teenager wanting to break free. Um, he's in between a lady and a, on a, on a man, so maybe that has some, um, you know, his questioning his sexuality. Uh, so it, it's 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 a it's a coming of age uh, tune, uh, I think. In my, if I'm in the ballpark, uh, it's about finding oneself. So I really really like uh, like the message here. You know, breaking away. I can just leave and disappear. Kind of that. Um, that urge to just break free from the restraints of your home life and just break out on your own and you know disappear from the town so it's kind of like starting anew so let me know your thoughts on invisible by dio great band great metal band um yeah so and who is your favorite heavy metal uh artist or track that you want me to check out let me know in the comments below this is your hippie with harmony mojo daddy mystic my groovy guys and gals until we meet again stay groovy